Disgusting and devastating. That's how top brass at the Memphis PD are describing three children shot since Sunday, one of them dead, two others fighting for their lives tonight. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. A six-year-old girl and 16-year-old boy were shot inside a Hickory Hill home last night, a little more than 24 hours after a 10-year-old was killed in Orange Mound. Police have yet to arrest any suspects in either shooting. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live in Memphis's medical district with tonight's top story. So, Brad, how are the injured victims doing tonight? Well, Richard and Katina were told the six-year-old girl remains in extremely critical condition here at the Bonner Children's Hospital, while that 16-year-old boy also remains in extremely critical condition one block away at Regional One Medical Center. Today, from Hickory Hill neighbors to the Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland, there's both outrage and heartbreak. Because it sounds so close to the house. For neighbors in this Hickory Hill subdivision, these pieces of crime tape and shattered glass from bullets served as a much too real reminder. Bad. It's, it's, it's nerve wracking. That's what that is. This one day after someone fired into this home, hitting a six year old girl and 16 year old boy. Every time I hear something happen in this area, the first thing I think about is my own children. Courtney Spencer is friends with someone who lives in Kirby Mills Cove, where the shooting happened a little after 8 last night, while the two children were inside the home. Since Sunday night, two separate Memphis shootings caught three children in the crossfire. I'm angry. This is my hometown. I left before. I come back. It's not any better to me. The crime is just getting worse, and so... My plan is to get back out. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland is also fed up with this recent rash of shootings involving children, telling Local 24 News the loss of one life is too many, but as a parent, the loss of a child due to this kind of senseless act is unconscionable. Keeping children safe has been and remains our number one priority. Those in Hickory Hill also offered this message to those who pulled the trigger. Put the guns down. These are innocent kids. Now, we did verify about an hour ago that that 16-year-old boy is enrolled at Collierville High School. There was no one at that Hickory Hill home earlier this morning for additional comment. Again, Memphis police yet to make any arrests in either of these two shootings involving children. If you have any information, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH. Reporting live in Memphis's Medical District, Brent Broder's Local 24 News. Brent.